Hello everyone, this is Roxaloo from Oakland, California with a video showing the one situation where I use uh, image inversion quite often. Um, so here you can see I'm uh, sewing the uh, uh, fascial de defect in the midline clothes very approximating the linea alba in an ETEP case. Uh, this, this applies not just to ETEP but could apply to TAP or TARM or uh, TAR. As you can see as I get to the epigastric area, I'm docked on the left side my right and the needle driver is suturing at a very awkward angle. I can't get perpendicular at uh, right angles to the uh, uh, linea alba. Um, so the suturing becomes uh, quite challenging. And uh, as I proceed, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get uh, the, the types of uh, bites I want uh, on the linea alba. I'm also gonna have to proceed very slowly and fumble with the needle. So. You can see that my left hand is actually, uh, the fenestrate bipolar is coming in at a very good angle. Um, it's tangential, it's not perpendicular to the tissue. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, invert the image uh, and reassign the uh, instruments. And I uh, use my left hand as my right hand and my uh, right hand as my left hand. So here I just drive the scope upside down and uh, as you clutch and with the, uh, do the camera clutch and the finger clutch it frequently activate uh, Firefly and go to the touchpad uh, choose hand control configure manual and then reassign the instruments uh, th this video of the touchpad is not from this case so I actually had to reassign uh, one and three not two and four you can see at the bottom of the screen uh, three and one are not in the usual order of one two three four it's because uh, instruments are reassigned so now I'm operating the fenestrated bipolar with my right hand and the uh, needle driver with my left hand. So because uh, the fenestrated bipolar comes in at a better angle, uh, it's easier for me to suture. And uh, if this were, uh, if I had to do a lot of suturing, I would have uh, swapped out my instruments too to put the uh, uh, mega suture cut into uh, where the fenestrated is right now. But I'm, I wasn't planning to suture a lot more, so I just kept the instruments in the same uh, locations. As you can see, this uh, just makes it a lot easier uh, to uh, suture. And I'm going to run the suture back a few times. Just sew the uh, posterior rectus sheath edges together. And then trim the suture and turn the uh, image back to right side up. It's a very uh, quick uh, maneuver, so uh, but I feel like it's really going to help me sp uh, speed up when my right hand gets stuck. This is uh, when I use this technique. And then now I'm just going to camera clutch and rotate the uh, image back right side up. So sometimes uh, you rotate one way, it doesn't want to go that way, so you rotate the other way. And this time I managed to do it without activating Firefly. Thank you for watching.